Ian and Corbin love making crafts, mm -hmm. and they love being creative. Oh, hi! Mm -hmm. My name is B, like the letter B. <gasps> this is Mr. Butterfly, mm -hmm. and this is Meta, the brown bear. After we are done reading our book, we are going to make an octopus, a butterfly, mm. and a silly creature using toilet paper rolls. We just finished our book about how Ian and Corbin love making arts and crafts. Do you know what color this book is? It's purple. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Today, let's get super creative and use toilet paper rolls to make a few really neat things. Mm. Oh, do you hear that? Mm. No. Well, listen harder. Oh, do you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's the idea train. <laughs> Oh, and look, it's Pinky the Boom Box. Hi, Pinky the Boom mm -hmm. Box. Oh, and Meta. There are three really fun friends. Oh, a butterfly, an octopus, and a silly creature guy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put these friends right here. What? Okay. Thank you, Idea Train. We will put Pinky the boombox right here. Pinky is here today to play our We Have to Wait dance break music. Oh, it's going to be fun. Okay, first we are going to make an octopus. You will need one toilet paper roll, some paint, a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, some glue, a pair of eyes, and a marker. The first thing we want to do is paint or color the toilet paper roll. Mm. This will be the body of the octopus. You can use whatever color you want. <gasps> Did you know that there are no mistakes in art? Mm. <gasps> There is no wrong in art. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want to do, especially, Meta, when you are being creative. Maybe you want to color the top of the octopus one color, and then you want to color the bottom of the octopus another color. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you want to mix a bunch of colors all together mm -hmm. when you paint your octopus. Or maybe you don't want to paint your octopus at all. <gasps> there is no wrong in art. Mm. Now, if you don't have paint, you can color the paper roll with markers or crayons. I am going to use my orange paint. Mm. Okay, Nita, here we go. I'm going to pick up my paintbrush and dip it in some orange paint and paint my toilet paper roll like that, Meta. Whoa, look at that. Don't worry if you get a little paint on your fingers. That's okay. It's okay to get messy when you're doing art. Look at that, Meta. Mm -hmm. The entire paper roll is covered in orange paint. Okay, now I'm going to let the orange paint dry for a few minutes. Oh, I have another idea. Let's do a we have to wait dance break while we wait for the paint to dry. Mm -hmm. what? Oh, are you ready to dance? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I'm going to push the play button now. That 
was a lot of fun. Okay, let's check and see if the paint is dry. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's dry! Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to use a pair of scissors to cut the tentacles all around the paper roll. Mm. Depending on how old you are, you may need an adult to do this for you. Okay, watch how I cut the tentacles all around the paper roll like this. Take your scissors, do a cut here, and a cut here. One more, Meta. Okay. Now bend each one of the tentacles out like this. You see that, Meta? Okay, Meta. What are we missing? Do you know what we are missing? Mm. A face! Mm. Now, you can draw some eyes using a marker or a crayon, or if you have them, you can use googly eyes! Mm. Okay, now I'm going to put a dot of glue here, and then a dot of glue here. Then I will place my eyes on the glue, like this. Look at that! Now I'm going to use my black marker to draw on a mouth like this. Oh, you see that makeup? Mm -hmm. Whoa! <gasps> this is a very happy octopus. <coughs> and that's how you make an octopus using a toilet paper roll. Now we are going to make a butterfly! <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> you will need one toilet paper roll, some paint, a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, a piece of construction paper, glue, a pair of eyes, a marker, a piece of tape, and a pipe cleaner. The first thing we want to do is paint or color the toilet paper roll. Again, you can use whatever color you want. If you don't have paint, you can use markers or crayons. There is no wrong in art. I am going to use my yellow paint. <laughs> All right, I will take my paintbrush and dip it in the paint. Again, if you get any paint on your fingers, that's okay. Mm. All right. I'm going to let the yellow paint dry for a few mm. minutes. Let's do another we have to wait dance break while we wait for the paint to dry. Are you ready to dance? Mm. Okay, I'm going to push the play button now. Was a lot of fun. Okay, Meta, let's check and see if the paint is dry. <gasps> it's dry! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, now we are going to use a pair 
of scissors and a piece of purple Ooh. construction paper to cut out a pair of wings. Again, depending on how old you are, you may need an adult to cut the wings for you. Mm -hmm. First, I'm going to fold my paper in half like this. Then I will use my scissors and cut one side of the wings like this, Mita. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I open my paper and I have a pair of wings. <gasps> Mita, look! Mm -hmm. A pair of wings! Mm -hmm. Whoa! Put my scissors down. We will put the wings right here. Okay, now we are going to glue the wings to the yellow body of the butterfly like this. We've glued our wings to the body of the butterfly. Mm. Okay, what are we missing? <gasps> a face! I'm going to use my googly eyes. Again, if you don't have googly eyes, you can use a marker or a crayon to draw on the eyes. Mm -hmm. I will put a dot of glue here and a dot of glue over here. I will use my black marker mm -hmm. to draw on a mouth like this. All right. Wow, mm -hmm. look at this very happy butterfly. We have to do one more thing. Mm -hmm. We have to add the butterfly's antennae. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a pipe cleaner right here. If you don't have a pipe cleaner, you can make one using construction paper. Okay, first I'm going to bend the pipe cleaner in half, like this. Then I'm going to twist the ends like this. I will use my piece of tape to attach my pipe cleaner to the inside of the paper roll like this. <gasps> Look at that! A beautiful purple and yellow butterfly. Mm. Now, we are going to make whatever you want to make. Mm -hmm. We can use our imagination to come up with an idea and make that idea into something real. Mm. <gasps> I am going to make a silly creature! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I will use one toilet paper roll, some paint, a paintbrush, glue, three eyes, a marker, two pipe cleaners, and a piece of tape. Now, the first thing we want to do is, again, paint or color the paper roll. I'm going to let the paint dry for a few minutes. Ooh. Do you know what time it is? It's time for We Have to Wait Dance Break. Mm. Okay, are you ready to dance? Yes? Mm. All right, I'm going to push the play button now. That was a lot of fun! Okay, Meta, let's see if the paint is dry. Oh, it's dry, Meta! Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the part where it gets really silly. I'm going to give my silly creature three eyes using my googly eyes. How many eyes will your creature have? One. 
big eye right in the center? Mm. Or three eyes like mine? Or maybe you are going to give your creature six or even eight eyes. Oh, that would be really silly. You can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. There is no wrong in art. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will put a dot of glue right here and a second dot right here and a third dot of glue right here. Then I will place my eyes Next, I will use my marker to draw on a mouth. Now, I'm going to use some pipe cleaners to make some wacky arms. First, I'm going to bend this pink pipe cleaner in all different directions. Next, I'm going to bend this yellow pipe cleaner in all different directions. But wait, I want to change my mind mm. because there are no mistakes in art. Mm -hmm. There is no wrong in art. I now want the yellow pipe cleaner arms to be swirly. Mm. Okay. So first, I will take my marker like this and wrap the pipe cleaner around the marker over and over and over like this. Now, I will take both pipe cleaners and put them together. Then, take the piece of tape and put it on the pipe cleaners. Now, I will take this piece of tape and tape it to the back of the roll like this. Now I will turn my silly creature over and bend the arms in whatever direction I want them to go in. <gasps> Look at that! This is a very silly creature! Whoa! Wow, that was a lot of fun mm. making the paper roll crafts, mm. but now it's time to share some Meta Art. Are you ready to do that? Mm. Yes? Okay, Meta, look at this art. This art, whoa. Was sent to us by two brothers, Rocco and Kozan. Mm -hmm. You see that, Meta? Mm -hmm. There you are, right mm -hmm. there. Oh, and look, there is me. Very good drawing of B. And oh, Mr. Butterfly. And oh, look, the idea train. Mm -hmm. And this must be the artist. Mm. Okay, let's flip to the next picture. Oh, Meta, look at this. Mm. Some very nice handwriting. Mm. Dear Mr. B and Meta. Mm. And look, a wonderful heart. Nice job. And the last piece of art from the two brothers. Look at this, Meta. Whoa, there you are. Mm. And there is Mr. B. Nicely done, Rocco and Kozan. Thank you so much for sending your wonderful art to myself and Mate. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at another piece of art. Mm. Mate, look at this. Whoa, Ooh. there you are. Mm -hmm. This piece of art was sent to us by Emerson and Oliver. Mm. Emerson drew this picture for her younger brother, Oliver. Oh, isn't that nice, Meta? Mm -hmm. Nice job, Emerson, on all the detail. Mm. I love how you wrote Meta at mm. the top. Thank you, Emerson and Oliver, for sending us this wonderful piece of art. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, Meta, are you ready for our last piece of art? Mm -hmm. 
This last piece of art that we are going to share today was painted by my kid, who is four years old. Mm. Are you ready, Meta? Mm. Whoa, mm. look at this. Mm. There you are, Meta. Look how happy you mm. look. And there is Mr. Butterfly mm. flying on top of mm. your head. He saw the amazing art that you all sent us and was instantly inspired to paint his own. Nice job, buddy, and thank you for letting us share your magnificent artwork mm -hmm. today. Grown-ups, you can send us your kids made to art by taking a picture of it and then uploading the picture to our Facebook page. Every episode, we will share some made to art. Before we go, let's say five good things about ourselves. Do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. You do? Okay, I'll go first, and then you repeat what I say after me. All right. Number one, I am strong. Number two, I am helpful. Number three, I am smart. Number four, I am brave. Number five, I am kind. That was great, Meta! Grown-ups, remember to follow us so you know when we post a new video. We also ask that you please support us by subscribing here on YouTube. It helps us continue to make more videos and it also helps people find our videos. Mm. Thank you for your support and thanks for spending your time with Meta and myself. And until next time, bye! bye.